I have got a fresh batch of UFO clips for you and you're not going to believe it because, well, if you walk away from this stream and you're still a believer or a non-believer in UFOs and aliens and you don't believe that they exist, then I will eat my hat because this video, I am literally crammed. I've crammed it with as many of the best UFO clips that I could find. And we are streaming a little bit earlier tonight um, because we're going to start uploading videos at 8pm instead of uh, our usual 7pm because, you know, Casper's site uploads at 7pm and I can't compete with the guy and, you know, people want to check out his stuff. So, anyway, we're going to get into some of these UFO sightings. So, the first one I wanted to talk to you guys about was this incredible one that I've found. Um... It is by far one of the most mind-boggling clips that I think I've ever seen. Hello to Jasmine. Hello to Haley. Hello to Laurie. Um, shout out to you guys for joining us. Thank you so much to everyone in, in the stream so far. But this was spotted on the 14th of April 2024 in Sequoia Park in California. And they know how to party. Anyway, let's go. Hello, Sean, how are you? Right, here we go with the clip, by the way. No messing about with it, straight off the bat. Look at this. Right. No, it's straight up and down. No, no, it has something on the side, Robert. We gotta get a picture. Oh, uh, yeah? Uh-oh, Iron Man, sorry. What is that? Might be the super people Maldakian. It's holding its position straight up and down. It's one straight up and down and staying that way. You see it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know when you guys see them. It's like a. What is this? This looks like a person with his arm sticking out. I can't get over how humanoid this thing is. I don't get it. Like, I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. Look at it. It looks like a human being. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right over here, look at it. Angela, you can see that. Yes. Oh my god, give me love. Now, there's a good point being made over here. Uh, it's some uh, lorry saying that it looks like an astronaut, and actually, it does look like a bit of an astronaut. I'm going to play the clip while we talk about it for a moment because this is by far one of the strangest occurrences that I've ever seen. You know, it's clearly happening because if you listen to the people in the background, you know what you think in the comments. It's straight up and down. No, no, it has something on the side, Robert. We gotta get a picture. Uh, uh, yeah? Uh-oh, Iron Man, sorry. People are clearly seeing this, whatever it is. And I... I, I Haley saying it's a hologram. And maybe it's a hologram, but this is so clear, so precise. Um, and, you know, the way that it's like, it morphs its shape a little bit. And it's got like one arm... Kind of out to the side a bit like this. It's it's madness. It's absolute madness. So I thought, you know, straight off the bat, let's start with the craziest clip. Um, because why not, eh? Like, anyone got any ideas? Minutes of horror. Hello. Where Lainey at? She is downstairs. She, the little one, has started uh, nursery. And he's already come home with a stinking cold. So, you know, typical nursery behavior. And he's passed it around to all of us. I'm... Um, you know, you're suffering with a, a sore throat, but it won't stop me. Um, but Lainey is proper battered by it. But anyway, doesn't stop us, does it? Doesn't stop us at all. Anyway, hello, L Pipe. How are you? Um, hello, Peter. How are you? Anyway, we're going to look at the next clip. So the next clip comes uh, from an, a late night evening workers at a nuclear power plant somewhere in Germany witnessed the appearance of an unidentified flying object in the sky, watch la uh, which later simply disappeared. Just just simply, you know, just, just simply disappeared. But I want to shout out to Tammy because she has been a member for 24 
four months. That is literally two years. That's crazy. Tammy, shout out to you, you absolute bloody legend. Um, hello, Sean. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm great. How are you? Anyway, we're going to take a look at this UFO sighting. Let's get it. We need sound. How weird is this? Hey, yo, Haley. She's been a member for 29 months. Right, this is the bit that gets me. This this spotlight thing. And then it just pshum. How weird. How weird. Let me just shut that off. But yeah. It literally just zooms off. Oh, Jasmine said that she might not be able to make the lives of the new time. I'm not confirming that it is going to be at 7 p.m. It could. I might even start them at like 9 p.m. I don't know yet. I'm going to try it out. Um, Del Boy, welcome, you absolute bloody legend. Well, while you're making your dinner, you can listen to me waffle a load of rubbish about some UFO clips before the new video drops later on. Um, Hey, Amy said off topic, but I've increased my meds and I'm now on top dose, but fingers crossed. Well, hey, Amy, I really hope that that works out for you. Um, you're an absolute legend. Keep going. Um, hey, Lainey's in the chat, so everyone say hello to Lainey. Hey, John P. Adventures, how are you? Almost too weird, isn't it? It gives off that vibe. This video gives off that vibe that it's just too weird. There's, it's, it's too perfect, you know? It's too perfect. It's it's too good. Um, and that's the problem with us UFO enthusiasts, isn't it? In the chat. We're all we're all we're all here for the UFO clips. We want to see the best UFO clips, but if it's too good, then it's clearly not real. And that's the problem. If it doesn't look real, then we complain that it doesn't it, it it's too good. Um, and if it's grainy, we complain that it's too grainy, but we can never win, can we? Anyway. Um, what did you guys make of that clip? I would love to hear your thoughts. I mean, it's a great one in the way that it shoots off, especially. Um, but, Derek, it is strange, isn't it? It's a very strange one, that one. So, this one I've got for you guys is um, a clear sighting that was apparently captured in Tennessee on the 30th of September 2023. So let's take a little look at this one together. The UFO is said to be imitating a star in this clip recorded over Tennessee. The video was recorded on a night camera just after midnight. Look at that. A nice clear sighting for a change. The video lasts 10 minutes in total, so the clip has been sped up. A UFO is said to be imitating a star in this clip recorded over Tennessee. What's your thoughts on that? The video was recorded on a night camera just after midnight. Jasmine's all like, I just don't believe. Well, by the end of this video, a you nice will. clear sighting for a change. Damn it. The video lasts 10 minutes in total, so the clip has been sped up. A UFO is said to be imitating a star in this clip recorded no, over Tennessee. It, but I like this one because it's, I mean, it could be, uh, well, I say it could be. I don't think it could be. Starlink because of the way that it shoots across, but then when it like doubles back, but I've got a feeling that this one could potentially be some kind of bug. Obviously it's nighttime as we can see here. Um, we can't see the exact time unfortunately, but you can see that, um, you know, it's on its infrared, which is gonna pick up bugs really, really well. And it is gonna look a little bit like a star. So it could just be a bug. I've got a feeling it might just be a bug. Um, and especially with the way that it just kind of moves, you know, a little, little kind of bug in the night sky. Yeah, it's just how I'm feeling about it, though. But what do you guys make of that one? Obviously, as always, I need you guys to let me know in the comments below. Um, hey, the analyst, I love UFOs. So do I. I find them so intriguing because unlike other paranormal phenomena, um, you know, there's always so much mystery and intrigue. Obviously, there's mystery and intrigue about all things in the paranormal, but it's like, you know, the it, it, there's something to it, you know? Like, there is, like, there's so much about it that you could just be like, wow, that's incredible. But this next clip, I've got no context for you. 
All I know, it was from Scottsdale in Arizona, um, March 24th, 2024. So a fairly recent new, uh, very recently new one. Um, but it's this blue light. Now, this comes into context when I show you another clip where it was first sighted. So bear with me on that because I'm going to show you this clip first. And this is, again, from the exact same place. But instead, it's just this light phenomena. Um, and, you know, I just... It's an, it's an interesting one. What is it? Bonkers stuff. Bonkers stuff. And then when you pair this with the footage that I'm about to show you right here, it makes that last clip even more weird. Because I thought to begin with, ah, oh, that's nothing. It's just like a little, some LED lights on like a fishing rod. Because it does look like it. But when you pair it with this footage, that it adds a little bit more substance to it. A bit more substance. A bit more, mmm, you know? So... Again, exact same place that this was captured. Here. So if you're in Scottsdale right now, near McDowell and Hayden Road, you're gonna see this thing in the sky. We don't know what it is. It'd be cool if we did. If you do, please leave a comment to say exactly what the hell I'm looking at. So if you're in Scottsdale right now, near McDowell and Hayden Road, you're gonna see this thing in the sky. We don't know what it is. It'd be cool if we did. If weird you do, stuff, please right? leave a comment to like, say exactly what the hell I'm looking hella at. Hella weird, because you've got, obviously... So if you're in Scottsdale well, right now, near McDowell and... We've got it captured in two places now. We've got it captured going into that little lake, and now we've got it captured up in the sky. And this is, it's just mind-boggling. Because at first, I obviously thought it was US uh, LEDs on a fishing rod, and someone's just having, having with pants down. But no, this is something. This is something. You know, and what's weird is I can't tell if this is one craft or a group of them because the way that it, like, the lights kind of, like, jump and alter to one another. You see how it kind of, like, bloop, bloop, bloop? I can't, I can't make it out. It's, and there's no, like, body to it. So, I don't know. We had crop circles, too, in my area over the last decade. Tammy, tell me more about that, please. Uh, that's definitely drone on a computer. The shadow glow reflection on the water was too long and it came back out of the water. It looks like it's using the worst cameras phones ever. Lol. Isn't that always the way? Like whenever there's a UFO sighting or an alien encounter, everyone just whips out their Nokia brick and they, they're like flip phone, no longer an iPhone 15 or 20 billion or whatever it is on now where you've got like ultra HD 4K resolution cameras. No, we're on the old like 180p flip phone where it's just like bloop, bloop, and then you record it and then it's like like you recorded it on a potato um and the last clip that i wanted to show you from well not the last clip in the entire stream but just an, one of the last ones on this page was um this sighting right here which is not necessarily a ufo but it was captured in sydney australia and well i just need you to uh I just need you to, to see. So Jasmine, Jasmine said, did you see my comment? What comment would that be, Jasmine? I'm sure I've seen this one before. Um, at first I thought it was a helicopter hovering and then it slow, slowly move and then it flashes and just sped off. Helicopters defo can't go at that speed uh, that it went. Yeah, I've seen that clip too. And it just completely undoes the idea of a helicopter, doesn't it? So, you know, Jasmine, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Ah! Right, um, let's go. What's this? What is this?
Like, this looks like some Harry Potter Dementor stuff, doesn't it? It looks like something straight out of one of the later Harry Potter films, and it's just... Oh my goodness. Um, it looks like some troll has been, like, smoking the good stuff. Wait, what? You smoke... What? Well, you read Jasmine's and then thought it was yours. What? I'm so confusion. I think I've read, like, five comments at once thinking it was one person. Oh, Delboy said, You definitely need an infrared camera and the and the app that shows you air traffic and some uh, and somewhere there's no ambient lighting it's amazing what you can see ir cameras are expensive though well if i can get my hands on an infrared camera and i can find somewhere that's not got too much light pollution i will absolutely go and see what i can see up in the night sky because i would absolutely love that i i, I absolutely would but I'm not seeing too many comments about this shenanigan. Does that lead me to believe that people aren't too aware of what this could possibly be? Because I've got no fogging clue. Like, it's just... Look, even this little bit down here, it, like, breaks off a little bit. What is that? It looks like a swarm of some kind. Weird, right? Um, but yeah. Do I know what it is? Absolutely not. Um, will I ever know what it is? Probably not. Because who does know these days? Um, shout out to everyone in the chat, by the way. Hello to everyone that's joined the stream. You are just in time for some of the, the best UFO clips. And if you don't leave this stream, a believer of UFOs and aliens, then my work here is not complete. That's a promise, not a threat. Anyway, um, the next clip that I've got for you is a strange luminous UFO spotted near buildings in USA in April of 2024. Not much context about it, just just that. That's all I've got for you, but sometimes that's all of the uh, context that you need, but let's take a little look. Welcome on UFO section 51. I am Dosgeek. This new video was shared by Ketchup Bro 23 on Reddit and recorded on April 16th, 2024. A strange luminous UFO spotted near buildings at night. Unfortunately, I don't have precise information on the place, but it seems that the video was recorded in the USA. Let's watch the video. Let's go. Come on. Give it to me. That's weird, isn't it? I heard some distant cracker-like sound. I looked around and found nothing after a minute or two. This was there and it was changing shape slowly. Didn't seem like smoke as it was glowing. It was not cloudy in that area then. It was not far above, but close to building. No rocket launches happened. And it's not reflection or lens flare. Hmm. How to explain what we see in the image? It looks like something static or really far away. One would need to know where this was filmed to make more accurate guesses. Could it be something on top of a mountain or another tall building far away? There was a case where weird lights in the sky actually turned out to be lights from a skyscraper hidden by fog. I'm not sure this is the case here. What do you think? It's definitely strange. Now, I have found a strange... Um I have found a strange, um, wait, where is it? It is right over, I can't find it now. Come on, don't show me up. Here it is. So, here it is, here it is, here it is. So, on your screens, you're going to be seeing this, um, come on, there we go. 
I found this. Now, this came from the University of Liverpool, okay? And what it is, is basically a chart of every known UFO to have literally ever been um, accounted, all right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to use this chart to cross-reference with... Um, the UFO videos that we watch. And we're going to see... Oh, I don't want to show you that. No spoilers for tonight's video. Um, so I'm, we're going to cross-reference this with the UFO clips that we watch. And we're going to see if we can identify what UFO it is in the chat. All right? So um, let's take a little gander at one of the first ones, for example. Obviously, that one that we just watched is kind of impossible to uh, distinguish because there's not much... There's not many characteristics to it. But... If we watch this next one, we might be onto something. Let's take a little look at this video here. And this is a UFO sighting in Tampa, Florida on April 2024. This new video was shared by Defiant Progress 4445 on Reddit and was allegedly recorded on April 4th, 2024 in Tampa, Florida, USA. A lot of people will say it's another Mylar balloon, but maybe not. Let's watch the video. Let's do it. Come on. Give me that video, baby. I'm vibing. I was driving and filming at the same time. So when it first occurred... That is illegal! Don't do that, guys, in the chat. Don't don't follow this guy's lead. Do not drive and record. It is illegal. You will get fines and penalties. Anyway, it's my good deed of the day done. Traffic was flowing smoothly, then all of a sudden it slowed down a bunch, and I thought there was a car accident up ahead because there was a few highway patrol parked over on the sides of the highway with their lights on, and I didn't see an accident. Then I look up straight ahead in the sky, and I see this, and it was swinging left to right in the middle of the highway at first. But it was small, almost like a drone, so at first I thought it was a drone. But I know drones don't swing like that, then it started to fly away and wobble as it does at the end of the video. It was hard to see it on my phone. This is an edited from my overall original video because it was so small and hard to see. And I couldn't see it initially as I was filming, just thought it was in the area. And I looked back to find to see if I got it on camera, and I did at the very end. It looks like there was lights on top of it. But it was hard to tell if it was lights or the sun reflecting on top of it. I wish I pulled over to film it. What do you think? Right. Thank you for watching. Now I'm going to stop it there. With the knowledge that we know, which is not a lot, obviously, but we're going to cross-reference that with my bad boy chart right here. Okay, and we're going to see if we can distinguish, if I can ever learn how to get this... Ah! There we go. Right, using the bad boy chart, what could this be? Now, my in initial gut instinct, I mean, obviously it's very small. There wasn't really much to it. But I was looking and I got a feeling that we could be leaning into the realms of maybe a B2 or a B3. All right. That's my instant gut reaction. Um, I'll play the clip kind of on, on mute um, in the background so we can... Have a little have a little gander as we go through. But my gut reaction is that this bad boy right here is is one of these two. Alright, so we'll go back to the very beginning of that video and we'll see if we can um like here. This is a really good shot actually. I'll pause it pause the video so we can kind of get some suggestions. But I'm definitely leaning towards one of these two bad boys. B4. Oh. Oh. All right. Mark Winton. Beefcake Mark in the chat with a, with a curveball going with a B4. Maybe it could be a B4. What, what's uh, everyone else saying? I've got a feeling that this could be... This could be something right here. This could be a little sun. While you guys have a little conflab about that, we're going to take a little look at one of the next clips. Um, and this one's interesting because it could be one of two actual things. 
Okay, so it could be a fireball, like a comet, or it could be a UAP UFO. Now, I can't tell which one, so, well, we'll just take a little look, shall we? No context as to where this was, by the way. It's just during the... Oh, it, there is context. During the eclipse, Ohio, USA, April 2024. It's another clip that I don't have context to, but this one, I do. Let's go! That was this my video chewing has gum. been shared by Braintief88 on Reddit and allegedly recorded on April 8th, 2024 in south of Dayton, Ohio, in the Middletown region. We're dying to know what it was. We thought it might be a plane that was on fire but not a single report has been made. It also was changing directions and eventually fell below house lines and disappeared. Let's watch the video. What is that? This lasted for about two to three minutes, turned multiple times at sharp angles, seemed to disappear twice then restart the fire, and then just kept going down until it went behind the roof of a house and disappeared from our line of sight. See. I'm leaning towards Meteor as well. What's interesting in this video is that no black smoke can be clearly seen and the witness reported that the object was also changing directions. How to explain what we see in the image? Could it now, I understand that the, the, the guy in the video um, who left, who, who uploaded the video said, oh yeah, well, you know, I, I think it was, um, it was changing direction, but we don't see that. So we've got no actual proof that that truly did happen. So it, it swings in roundabouts, this one. It swings in roundabouts, but we'll, we'll play on. Could it be a pyro jump done by the professional skydiver team at the Middletown airport? What is your opinion on this video? Thank you for watching. Please like. Definitely one of the more interesting ones. I think I'm leaning towards Comet personally, and it looks like in the chat other people are also leaning towards it. I see uh, Amy talking about it. I see Derek saying that it's the Devil's Comet. Mark saying a meteor. Haley saying Comet. Um, yeah, definitely leaning towards that. So I'm not going to whip my chart out for that one. Um, but this next one um, is involves some spinning UFOs just from all sorts of places in the USA. So um, as you can see, Santa Cruz, Springfield, Missouri, and Miami Air and Sea Show. All right, so. Oh, just before we start, noodles with a really interesting point. Could it be a fuel dump? That's, that, that's plausible. There's some leverage to that. I like it. These videos have been recorded since 2021 until today. It is quite incredible to see how these spinning UFOs are often observed, especially in the USA. It is often in broad daylight and always a kind of cube that turns on itself. Come on, I want to see it. Let's watch these videos. Where do you look? I guess they're all pretty much the same. This is cool.
Right, because they're all very similar, um, we're going to take a little look at the chart and use this one as a reference. Now, I've got a feeling that when it comes to um, these sightings, it's got to be something disc-shaped and quite thin. So, for that reason, I'm looking at O1 because it's got that small, very thin disc shape. Obviously, we've seen it spinning. It's, it's circular and it is like a plate. It could be O4. So, O1 or O4. Or, I think those are my two options for me, personally. Or maybe even F9 or G7. But I think I'm probably going to lean towards maybe the O4 as a final locked-in choice. But... What do you guys think? Let me play this clip a little bit longer. We don't need the music. Look, as it spins, it's clearly very, very thin. So, could it be an O1? It does look like something falling from the air, but this same sighting happened across like three or four different places. I don't know whether it was at the same time, but... L5, that's what it looks like from a distance. Where's L5 at? L... Let me just work my way through the alphabet. L5, oh, interesting. Now, I've seen probably the best comment, and that was um, Neil Campbell saying, that's my ex-girlfriend's mirror after she found out she was ugly. Absolutely brutal, Neil. I can see why she's <laughs> she's an ex. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um... This is fun though. This is this we are having fun, aren't we? We are <laughs> we are having fun. Um now there is another UFO footage uh, video that I've um found on Reddit which was incredible it's just titled Incredible UAP footage by Dutch TV show. Let's take a little gander at this, shall we? <laughs> Look at that. Yum. Explain that one. Look at that. Yum. Six times zoom. Literally captured just on a on a Dutch TV show. What a what an incredible find. Um, but if we go back here, I'm going to pull up my, li my little trusty chart once again. Uh, and we're going to cross-reference. What are we saying? Oh, no, I'm blocking it out there. I'm going to have to move it over here. Move this over here. There we are. So, AJ! Dude is really live. Yes, he is. Um, right. Let's have a little look. What have we got? Could it be... Oh, this one's a tough one. See, at first, I was looking at, like, these more dome-shaped... Obviously, it's got something at the top. So, I was looking at something like uh, an L... Not an L1, maybe, if it had a bit more of a ring around it. Maybe a J3? An N2. Where's N2? Oh, yeah, maybe an N2. It could be an N2, Sin Rhinefield. Um, L2. Someone said an L2. Oh, oh, that, yes, actually. Yes. I see the L2 right there. I see it. That's probably the... i got a feeling that could be one of the best shouts. Lang Lee said none of those. There are some in here that don't kind of fit this chart, so I would allow that. But I think L2 could be the best bet so far. Let's kind of play the video through once again. Uh, we don't need the sound and the dramatic music, but... I definitely think L2... Shaped like an ace of spades. Yeah. It is actually. You're right. I think it could. N2. Yeah, a couple of people have said N2. Actually, now I've seen it with that kind of context while it's moving. An N2 could be a plausible a plausible one, actually, for sure. 
Let's go through it one more time and with the context of N2. I definitely think it could be could be that bad boy. Hey, Gem Girl, how are you? Kevin, we are definitely not alone. No, I completely agree with you, man. Yeah, look at that. There's no denying that's an N2, baby. Lang Lee, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong, Lang Lee. Right. Yeah, um that that one was that one was good. I like that. I like that a lot. This is fun. This is fun. I like that we're all getting involved with this one. Uh, right, let me see if I can find some more of these clips that I had. What's the chat saying? You for, uh, And you forgot the P. What? Who forgot the P? Uh, have you seen the top comments? Someone slowed it down and reversed it. And you can see pretty clear a string hanging from it. Don't mean to burst a bubble, most likely balloon. No! No! Let me go back. Get in the bin. That is that can't be real. Hang on, I'm just trying to find it once again. Let me just hit you. Uh, top comment. Following submission statements provided. Da, da, da. Acorn shaped. Uh, wait, where's that comment? I'm, I'm on the comments now. I'm conf I'm confusion. No, I can't. I can't see that comment. Hmm. Don't know. Right. Um. Let me see if I can go back onto that channel because that one was a good little hub of UFO vidwars. Uh. Hit the like button. Yes. Hit the like button if you haven't already, you absolute beauties, um, because it really helps out the channel, helps out the videos, and um, yeah, just shout out to you beautiful people that already have, and will go on to do so, because you are the true MVPs of this channel. Um, it's the Autobots, yes. <laughs> Your confusion, yes, I am confusion. I do not speak um, great English when I get confused, I am confusion. Right, this video apparently is from Ohio. Um, in, again, April 2024. Let's take a little gander. Allegedly recorded on April 1st. No further information. Just what we love, isn't it? I wanna see the video. Let's watch the video, let's do it. There's something fucking hanging out there in the fucking sky. Hanging in the fuck sky. What is that? What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? He's booking it after him. Look at him go. What is this? What is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, UFOs. They are. Oh my yeah. god. I'm not denying it. Oh my god. The only thing that I've got with this is the perception, right? The perception could be yes, they look like they're up in the sky, but could they be boats in the sea? Because. I mean, I don't know whereabouts he is, and he's in Ohio. Is there a sea near Ohio? That's a stupid question, but I'm not very good with my American geography. Map of America. Hell yeah. Ohio. Right. It's got the, the Lake Erie near it, so it could be there, potentially. Um, I'm looking at it from this point, by the way. Map of America, Ohio. Um... That it could be on the lake, could be boats on the lake, but I don't know. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Look at that.
Right. Let's take a little gander at our chart. Now, obviously, we've seen the lights here. Now, I've got a feeling it could be A5. Because the light's on it. Ah, oh, move you over here. Bring you up here. Right. So I've got a feeling it could be A5. Um, ben, I asked multiple times to watch the patience of the TR3B, but you never responded. Ah, oh, I'm so far sorry, Confuse Confucius. Patents of TR3B. I, I'll take a little look. Look at Google. All right, no worries. I'll take a little look. Um, yeah, so looking at these clips. Oh, no, actually, J5 for sure. Can you see the, uh, the light ring around it? Geography lessons of the PE teacher. Yep. Q3. Where's Q3? Where we are? Down here. Ah, oh, maybe. See, the reason I'm going for um for a J5 is because you see these little, like, thingamajings around here? Got a feeling those are, um... Yeah, J5's where I'm going for. J5 also possible. Yeah, I've got a feeling. Let's watch it. For a bit of context... A5, A5. Oh, it could be A5. Yeah, that was one of my other options. Now we can't see the bleeding thing. Yeah, there you go. So someone say show... Where is it? Uh, not wrong. Show one piece of verifiable evidence. Well... I guess it. Uh, you de you get, uh, I guess it depends on your definition of a verifiable evidence because, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to find some uh, verifiable evidence because, who are we to verify? I suppose. But um, let's take a look at another one. What time are we on? Oh, we got 15 minutes until the new video drops, baby! Excited for it. Mm-hmm. Where are we? Let's have a look at this one in San Paolo. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Bottom all the way right corner. Can't see the category. Ah, right. I will um, make sure to move it a bit more central. Thank you for letting me know. So let's have a little look. Eric said it's hard because it doesn't exist. Well, this stream is going to change your perspective on that. That is subjective. It's very subjective. Damn straight. I like that. Anyway, let's take a look at this one from San Paolo. Um, right, let's have a little look. No further information. Gotta love it. I hope so too, Eric. Come on. Let's make you a believer before the end of this stream. Hey, Dash. I'm going to mute that for copyright reasons. Confucius, what is it, my dude? The patents of the TR3B, yes, I will have a look at that after this one, I promise. The video had no audio, this one. Hey, shout out to the 250 in the chat. Whoop, whoop. That's my broken Xbox controller. Same. It's my it's my broken Xbox controller when I lose a game of FIFA. <clears throat> right. I like that one. Interesting for sure. Now, let's have a little look at our chart once again. You know, our trusty chart from Liverpool University. Just got to drop that in there so you guys know that it came from Liverpool University. Liverpool University. Now, 
let's play it through from the very get go. Here. Right. Definitely like circular shape with a big dome on the top. That's how I feel. Um, let's see what we got. Maybe a J1. Maybe a J1. Looks like stadium lights. It does actually. It looks like spotlights, doesn't it? Like floodlights. I'm going with J1 on this bad boy. Any con contradictions? Conflictions? Get it in the chat. What do you think it this could be? Hey, Lolo! First time chat, a long time listener. Thank you. I am so glad that you're here. Welcome. Thank you for chatting as well. What a legend. Come on. Actually, I've changed my mind. I've got a feeling this could go to F8. F8 is my new decision. For sure. J6 feels like it's accurate. Ah! Actually, you're on the money. You are on the money. Who said that? J6. Duma... Duma YT Gaming, you are on the money. Without a shadow of a doubt. J6 or oh, J1. Yeah, Neil's agree, agreeing with my J1, but now I could be swayed to J6. I'm going for L4. What's, where's L4? One, two, three, L4, this one? Maybe. It's strobe timing is human. Interesting. USA has nine recovered craft. I've heard about this. I have heard. And that intrigues the, the living shit out of me because what do they know? You know? And if the USA has got like nine... How many have crashed in other places around the world? Because it can't just be... Um, it can't just be in um, in the US that these things happen, you know? Like, it's always in the USA that these things get talked about. Give me a shout-out. Life is awesome. There you go. Have it. There's your shout-out. Shout-out to Life is Awesome because life is awesome, actually. It's nice to be able to stop, connect with you guys, and uh, chat about some UFO stuff. Get your tinfoil hats on. Russia supposedly had a couple too. Ooh. They would never disclose that though, would they? Like, they hold their cards very, very close to their chest. Um, right, let's have a little gander at... This one. This one intrigues me. Right. It's all about the thumbnails. It's all about the thumbnails. Right. Uh, where are we? I want to believe, but there is quite literally no verifiable evidence to support aliens visit Earth. Where would they come from? How would they survive uh, such a long trip? How would they come here? Eric, that is... Those are all brilliant, valid questions. And I think the consensus is you are on one of two sides of the coin. You are either completely, you believe even though there's no evidence, or you don't believe because there's no evidence, if that makes sense, right? So, like, that's, like, some people are like, show me the smoking gun and I will believe. Like, I will, without a shadow of a doubt, believe that. But, if... Like, but for some people, it's like, I don't need the smoking gun. Everything else is enough evidence for a closed case, you know? And it's, it's such a... Lainey, get up here. Yes, get up here, girl. Let's finish the video together. Um, do you see what I'm saying? Anyway, I've gone on for a bit of ramble. But Eric, I completely respect why you feel the way that you do. Um, because, you know, I'm kind of the same. Do I believe wholeheartedly? 
I can't until I experience something for myself, but it's fun to speculate on these things. Um, ah, believing with no evidence is just faith. I don't do faith. Potentially, I guess it's a, it's how you look at it, really. You know, it's, it's a fair, valid point. It could just be looked at as faith, but it could also be seen as... Um, I don't know how you would word it. Um, I guess faith is a very good way to put it, actually, and fair enough. No arguing with that. Um, right, let's take a look at this one. So, strange formations of lights were documented above the village of, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, southwestern Ukraine's Odessa Oblast in November 2017. <laughs> The lights are at least according to the UAF spokesperson were officially speaking were just targets used by Ukraine. Let's watch the video. Let's get it. <laughs> this is cool. Because this could be one of... Uh, this could be one craft or it could be multiple. Instantly, I love this video because the goal and the, the ground and the tree line are all perspective. They show perspective on this clip and I love that. Потом спряталась. Теперь вот это когда падало, она, знаешь, как звезд, ну как вот метеорит летит. Оно Здесь прям... что, типа падало на землю? Ну, ну как бы так, да, вот медленно, медленно. О, смотри, летит вон. А вот, вот еще что-то приближается к нему, да? Вот это вот летит тоже они... И они что, собираются в кучку, типа? Я не знаю. Ну вот третья эта штука, третий раз вот это слева уже приближается. Вот, оно что-то. А, типа в одну кучку било. Да. Right. This is multiple craft. Yeah. You can tell by the way that it's broken off there. <laughs> Bad Daddy just delivered one of my favorite comments of the stream so far. Yeah. Right, this is a very long clip and this is just it kind of repeated, but while it plays, Bad Daddy said, Some will not believe until they feel the probe's wrath. <laughs> oh, why do UFOs have lights? Steve Connor, great question. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the same as cars. Oh, I've just seen Jasmine say the same thing, yeah. Maybe it's the same as cars. Maybe they just need headlights to see where they're going. I don't I don't know. Because um, they want to be seen. Bad daddy. Yeah, maybe. Wow, that looks amazing, doesn't it? I would love to see something like this in person. Hey, Ebony, how are you? Ebony McKickass is still by far the best name I've ever seen. I hope that's a genuine surname. Hey, here she is. It's Lady not un McKickass, but we look on bitches. <laughs> Eric said, haha, I 100% need the wrath of a probe. <laughs> Whatever. Tickles your pickle. Naughty boat. It's definitely about tickling pickles around here. Oh, God, I hate getting around here. Hello, love. How are you? Hello. This is Lainey, for anyone that doesn't know. Um, she is actually the other no, half actually... for, for namesake Come of on, the channel. <sighs> she is the other half of the channel for namesake. Let me move this camera around this way so you can, they can see you. Should I get a seat? Yeah. Pull up a pew. No, only about ten, five more minutes. Well, you said because the new video is going to be dropping. Until the new video, and I was like, "That's my cue to put RT on." <laughs> I'm glad you've got my subliminal message. I got it. So yeah. Maybe been hanging around too much with each other for too long. This is a wild laney for anyone that does not know who she is. She is the other half of this YouTube oh, channel. Oh my! I've got a stinking oh, cold. My camera's just apparently exhausted. I don't know how that could possibly be the case because people can still hear me. <laughs> like, that is literally nigh on impossible. But it happened. So that's uh -oh. odd. Have you got a new cat with you? Yeah, can you shut me one up? Go I'm sorry to everyone that can just hear and not see it's right not now. It's not you, it's the aliens. No, it's you. You, t you just turned They're up like, and then the Wah! camera finally died. They're like, get off. 
Bear with me, everyone. I promise we will be back momentarily. Da -da 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 -da. Lainey, do, sing do, to them. Um, what should I say? What should I say? Sorry to everyone who's just joining. The camera died. Um, my webcam just broke on me, so bear with us. This is what I webcam. get. Webcam. Oh my god, how very two thousands of you. What I'm using my I'm using my camera as a webcam. I'm very. A webcam. Yeah, webcam. Okay. Hun. This is like MSN days, honey. <laughs> MSN to the max. There we go. Right, I should be back on your screens now. Whee! That's scary, isn't it? Yeah, this is Lainey. You didn't get Hi. to see her for long earlier because the, the, the I've been thing chatting broke. the whole time. Yeah, but you people don't know who you are. Okay. She's far prettier than I am. Before anyone gets Good in there, over. I don't know how I pulled her because she, I'm definitely punching while the rubber away, ben. but it's okay. Shut up, Ben. You know I'm gonna... Her radiance was Control. way too much. <laughs> But Daddy, thank you. I think it was probably more a case of like the the camera's just like F this shit. Get it I'm off! Not. Get it off! <laughs> no, she <laughs> shall not. She is who she is who who cannot be named. She can be heard but not seen. <laughs> she could type in the chat from downstairs whilst listening up for the two year old asleep. Yes, just just don't don't wake the baby. <laughs> Whatever you do, for the love of God. It's kind of warm up here. It is. I'm sweating my bazoolas oh, off. Ben. What? It's, we need ventilation. I hate it up here. <laughs> I hate it. Where would you like me to create the people's A filming streams? room. We need a filming room. This downstairs. is my filming room. No, like, we need, like, an office, I think. Gremlins! Gremlins! S Steve has just shouted gremlins, and I'm not sure why, but... Is it me? It's me. Oh, the gremlins on, like, ruining the camera ah yes yes yeah, I hope yes it's not you, unless you're referring to me which i'll equally accept <laughs> the spaceship is on his nose facts <laughs> elongated <laughs> family archives in the basement of a museum finger was scanned what ufos exist why do you why do you bring this news now when i'm about to wrap up the stream come that back to the, when's the next live stream because we need to hear friday you, we need you back on Friday. Friday. Well, we need you all on back on Friday, but we need you also go and research that, Ben. Yes. Are y'all in Liverpool? No. We are We're in... in the Toon Toon. Newcastle. I'm just going to put my legs up. I'm so uncomfortable. Oh, make yourself comfortable. I will. Look at this. This is like putting your feet up on in on the dashboard. Look at this. Oh, don't show me rolls. Don't show me rolls. They see her rolling. Oh, I've just blocked I you know, right out. I such a mess. I probably should have come up. I'm feeling too self-conscious for this. Give over. Um, I just but, wanted to say hi to everyone. Yeah. I'm going to be starting to make a bit of a, a, a bit more of an a, appearance, a bit more of a, what's the word? Presence. Presence. Yeah. On on well maybe on the channel. I want to do my own channel. I want to do my own things. What like what can I do? What do you that, want to see? That'll have to be a Don't question. Don't say OnlyFans. That. Yeah. I want to see that. That'll have to be a question for another day because we that. are going to be wrapping up the stream. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to get down there. Jump together, the hell out of that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you're new. And there is going to be a brand new video as soon as this stream ends up on the, on the channel. Just a video, not a live stream or anything. Not a short, full-length video. So be sure to go and check out that. And uh, until next time, guys, Lainey, what do they need to do? Spook to you later. Peace. Peace. Ding. That's been a long time. There's some lovely comments on there, by the way. Lush.